Donkey Daniel in Bethlehem. Fanny, Cora, Kid. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Nearby the town of Nazareth, a long, long time ago, there lived a little donkey with a nose as white as snow. My name is Donkey Daniel. I'm very strong indeed. Why, I can carry anything that anyone might need. He loved his master Joseph, who was gentle as could be. He loved his cozy little stand. He loved his favorite tree. But Donkey Daniel had a wish, a wish he somehow knew. Had very, very little chance of everything coming true. I want to see the world, to learn what lay beyond. The fences of my master's yard, our neighbor's muddy pond. Perhaps behind those distant hills, the sky is brown. Perhaps the grass is pink. Perhaps the trees grow upside down. One morning, Master Joseph came to Donkey Daniel's stall. I have brought your breakfast, said Joseph. Be sure to eat it all. Today we leave for Bethlehem. You must come along to bring some things and carry Mary on your back so strong. I'm going to go to Bethlehem, thought Donkey Daniel. Whee! Oh, now I'll learn about the world. Oh, now I'll get to see. He stood impatiently as Joseph started to pack all these things to carry on my sturdy donkey back. First we need Daniel's saddle, then some bags and food and drink, and a small sack of money. He could hear the coins go tick. Then Joseph left Mary up. She seemed so very small that Donkey Dan hardly felt her on his back at all. It's time for us to go, said Joseph. I will walk ahead. And Donkey Dan followed for his gentle master led. They passed the house and the wall right out to town. They went and when they reached the distant hills, they started their ascent. Straight up, they climbed till Donkey Daniel thought they'd hit the sky. Why, I can see for miles around, he cried. Oh my, oh my! Then down they went through the valley's green, past laughing little streams. The real world, Donkey Daniel thought. It's better than my dreams. They walked and walked for days, and then at last, one afternoon, good Joseph cried. There's Bethlehem! We have to be there soon. That is good news, said Mary. Oh, how gladly she replied, for she was very tired from the long and bumpy ride. The town of Bethlehem was filled with visitors that day, so Joseph had to look and look to find a place to stay. But no one had an empty room, and so they had to sleep on hay inside a stable filled with chickens, cows, and sheep. They ate their supper, made their beds, and shut the stable door. Then Mary fell asleep. Joseph started in to snore. Good night, said Donkey Daniel to the chickens, cows, and sheep. 
Soon all was calm and silent. Everyone was fast asleep. But Donkey Daniel wakened in the middle of the night. How strange, he mumbled. Mary's up. The stable's filled with light. And Joseph, why is he awake? Whatever can it be, I must find out what's going on. I must get up and see. He didn't quite expect to see the sight that met his eyes. A baby! Donkey Daniel cried with wonder and surprise. Why, Mary's had a baby boy and such a lovely child. See there, he looked at me just then. I think he even smiled. Then suddenly a knock was heard upon the stable door. Three men came in quiet out of breath and knelt upon the floor. Who shepherd? Who shepherds? A shepherd. Come to see the sound of God. What do they mean? thought Donkey Daniel. This is very odd. He tried to understand each word the happy shepherd said. The angels had appeared to say that in a manger bed they'd find the Son of God, a child newborn of holy birth, a baby who was Christ the Lord, the Savior of the earth. He tried but didn't to understand the many words he heard, how could a tiny little baby Christ the mighty Lord? But then a strange thing happened. Something made him bow his head before the baby Jesus lying in the manger bed. Thanks for watching.